All right, welcome back. Friday morning, what a wonderful day. Let's keep the good positive vibes going at 623. And the mission statement here at First Coast News, if you did not know that, is together making the First Coast a better place to live every day. And the most important word, perhaps, in that sentence is together. It takes all of us. And with that in mind, listen to this incredible accomplishment. High school graduation rates are increasing at several local school districts. For the 2018-2019 school year, Clay County's graduation rate is 91.9%. St. John's County is 94.3%. And Duval County Public School earned its highest graduation rate in the district's, district's mm. history, with approximately 86.5% of students graduating high school. It's incredible, uh, and especially the year-to-year the, the -year improvement. And here to talk uh, with us about uh, all these improvements, Duval County School Superintendent Dr. Diana Green and Reball High School Principal Dr. Gregory Bostic. Thank you guys. Uh, for joining us this morning. Thank you. We appreciate oh, yeah. you being here. Congratulations, first of all. Yeah. Must feel great. Thank um, you. So year to year, let's talk about 2013. If we go back in time in our wow. time machine a minute, Duval <laughs> County graduation rate much lower, just 72%. And here we are, 86% and some change. How did you do it? What happened? Well, I think it, it really is about the team. Mm -hmm. It's not about the superintendent, not about the school board. It starts with that philosophy that all children can learn and the, the ability of all students are varied, mm -hmm. but we put processes in place and uh, I can't take that credit. It, I have to pay homage to former superintendents and former employees who started looking at high school graduation as um, a, a priority. It also came along with our, our partners. JPEF played a, a role and many other organizations played a role and said 72%, that is not where we want our graduation rate to be. And once those processes were put in place, principals like Dr. Bostic uh, took, the, took that process, that framework, and worked with their schools, worked with students, their families, cool. and now we're starting this to reap the benefit of all of that hard work. Uh, and I think our students now more and more understanding that to get a career or move forward in life, you, you, you have to start with a high school diploma. Amen. And the programs that we have in our high schools are outstanding for those students who want to go to the university. We have accelerated programs for those students who quite don't know what they want to do. We have other types of academies, career and technical education programs, things to engage high school students in their learning process to take control of their pathway. And, and now mm -hmm. students have so many options, yeah. unlike with when we were in high school. That's yeah. true. Uh, Got to focus. Got to find yeah. that focus for sure. And I know that you guys kind of took graduation rates. You broke them down into subgroups. What were kind of the takeaways when you started looking at the, the subgroups? Well, I think the number one takeaway is that we're graduating everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, for our African-American population, it is at 84.5%, the highest um, since, two, I think, since 2013. That's like a 30% increase. Mm -hmm. uh, students with disabilities, our Hispanic students, they're at 87.5%. So the, the, I think the real gratification comes that it's not just one group of students. We're, grad we're, we're really moving all of the students and trying to close that graduation gap. Principal Bostic, I'm not going to, we're not dragging you out of bed early without talking to you because we're <laughs> all doing inc okay. incredible stuff, uh, achieving over 90% graduation. Yeah. So y'all are really standing out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk, so what did you do? What is, what's been going on over well, there? Let me share something. Great Please. things that happened at John Rebo High School. And yesterday when the announcement came out from Dr. Green, mm. it proved it. Yeah. Um, it's just overwhelming. Our, our students are doing great. Our, our teachers, yeah. some great teachers. Um, has to give a shout out to Mrs. Bryce and Ms. Lawrence. Those are our ACT, SAT prep teachers. Great job. Um, I've charged the kids for this year to, they have their, their theme is a vision, a class with a vision. So guess what? Next year we hope to top this this year. So great things are happening at John Rebo High School. We are so excited. Wonderful. And real quick, if you could break it down to one sentence each, goals for next year. A school district. A plus, <laughs> a plus I, school I district. Yeah. My goal is that always to increase and be a B, 
next year right. or in, in probably go for that A. You know, we got to got to go it. go for the A. But Get those that are A. My, you guys those are great. Thanks for getting up Thank early. Thank you so much. Positive stuff this morning. Feeling good on a Friday for sure. All right, kids, time to get out of bed. The superintendent and principal are watching you. All right, hope your homework's done. We'll see you back here in two minutes.